Oh, good morning everybody. Welcome back for another video. Uh, it's uh, Thursday the 1st of February, 24. And for those of you that would have watched the last video when I was on, out on uh, the uh, Pocket Rocket, I said that I'd got to uh, get the uh, Trans Speed Twin service, which is booked in for tomorrow. And uh, when I was moving around in the garage yesterday to get ready to uh, take it in tomorrow, I'll check the mileage. I've only got 455 miles on the uh, on the bike. Um, because originally I was planning to take it to Chester, but tomorrow I'm taking it to Tamworth, so it's only about 30 miles away. So the ride up to Chester would have put the uh, would have got the requisite miles on. So I thought to myself, I looked at the forecast, and it looked like quite nice for today. So I thought, uh, what I'll do is I'll go out because I'm on leave. I'll go out and I'll put some uh, try and get a bit closer to the. Uh, the service mileage so I left the house at 455 and now on 510 so uh, I'm just mooching around uh, Warwickshire, Worcestershire, Evesham again now uh, yeah so uh, getting the Donald the Donald J Trump speed twin ready for service tomorrow so for those of you that don't know why uh, the Speed Twin is affectionately known as the Donald uh, it's because he shares the same colour as uh, the former President of the United States President Donald Trump. They both share a very, very uh, salubrious orange shade. And there you go. So in uh, homage to the President I've called the speed twin, the orange speed twin, the Donald. And there you know. So, uh, yeah, so just, uh, as I added a, a few miles on, and uh, I headed back home and uh, spending the rest of the day probably cleaning the crap off this. The roads are just horrendous. I know it's the time of year. Anywhere you go, it's a little ride out in the bike's filthy. And, uh, yeah, clean the bleeding roads, or just improve the quality of them. So we're heading towards Worcester and Pershore at the moment. Uh, getting some uh, really positive comments and views on the uh, videos from the Scottish tour last year. Uh, it's great to see uh, that you're enjoying them and uh, lovely to hear the comments and, uh, and memories that some of you have uh, it's bringing back for you. So that's uh, that's really nice to... Oh, something smells around here. That's really nice to uh, read those comments. So great to hear you enjoying those videos. I've got a few more to edit and get uh, get issued so uh, yeah so again I'm out and about with no particular place to go it was just a decision that today we'd head south again or south east well, I'm 5.12 now I reckon when I get home I'm going to be knocking uh, 5.60 5.70 so it's going to be pretty close to 600 when we get it up to uh, To, uh, to Tamworth Triumph tomorrow. I wasn't very relaxed when I started this ride. Uh, I'm sort of settling into it a little bit there. You know when you get one of those days when you don't really uh, you're not really feeling it. That was me earlier on but uh, I think it may well be to do now with the fact that I'm because I haven't ridden this for a few months. I think what's happening is I'm settling back into uh, riding it again now. 
I trespassed by the road. I'll go anywhere now without seeing a mattress by the road. I had a very nice comment from uh, Economical Rides, I hear Gary and Ruby, um, saying how he would uh, he'd like to come on a tour with uh, with Paul and I. It's uh, very nice of you to say so. And yeah, we'd like to come on a tour with you and Ruby as well. So uh, thank you for that, Gary. It's uh, really nice to hear that. Uh, sort of, uh, uh, hopefully our personalities uh, are coming through on the videos and, uh, and we're, uh, we're nice people not well, most of the time anyway <laughs> yeah it's lovely that is, lovely to hear you say that, thank you very much not a lot to look at today, I was, I was thinking of going down into the Cotswolds but you know when you're just not feeling it, and today I wasn't feeling it, so I thought... So I thought, nah, we'll get out of here. So when you're just not feeling it, uh, go go again when you are. So I've got for another day. Probably do a little video tomorrow. Going up to, uh, to take Donald in for uh, his service. I love some of these names, Upton Snodsbury, what a brilliant name. I don't usually see hearses travelling that fast, do you? No, he's, uh, he's probably got his foot down. Uh, looks like he needs to be somewhere dead quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that's, that one's for you, Aussie boy, could do. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Aussie boy, could do, and he's, uh, he's big red Ford Ranger truck. He is uh, showing off his mirrors, or the fitting of his mirrors, that so looks like they were, uh, had been packaged by a Colombian drug cartel uh, in readiness for smuggling. Uh, so he unpacked his, uh, unpacked his mirrors, fitted them to his Super Meteor. Great video, and in the background was this uh, very nice, raucous red. Ford Ranger pickup, which uh, I must have caught my eye, and uh, hopefully we may get a uh, some some videos in the future featuring uh, ABD's big red beast. I look forward to that. Oh dear. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm settling into this ride a bit now. She's uh she's good. In a couple of weeks time I've got me scramming for its annual service. So uh, that's all booked in. I do love this bike. It is a lovely day today. Uh not, not cold at all, I've got my heated gloves on. Uh, I've almost given up with the batteries, uh, so much of a... The down charge is not sufficient for a ride out like this. So I've opted for a bit of comfort throughout the ride, so I've plugged the, uh, plugged the gloves in. What I did is I've uh, adapted an Optimate lead, so I can plug it into my Optimate charge lead. Uh, I connect them up and then take them off and swap around the bike so I only need one one uh, one supply lead to the heated gloves hands are feeling very nice and toasted this morning found with the batteries I was holding off using them uh, and then sort of using them on the, the latter part of the journey but by then my hands are cold so they never ever really warm my hands up then Whereas my hands have never been cold because I've had these on since I since I came out of the house. I don't, they're, they're pretty good these Gerbing Heasy gloves. I've had them a few years now, and they're. Uh, I didn't do that much riding during the cold months. 
but that seems to have changed now and I'm out whenever I possibly can be. So they are, they are really serving a useful purpose now. Very nice gloves. I, uh, I planned to stay off the back loads today because I didn't fancy a cleaning job when I got home. And somehow, it's not on video because it's for a turn of camera on. Somehow I found myself, I, was, I think I was, uh, my mind was wandering and I wasn't really paying a lot of attention to where I was going. And I found myself uh, on somebody's farm in a load of mud. And uh, let's say that was a bit of a scary moment and I was trying to get the bike out of this predicament I'd got myself in on this muddy track. And uh, without dropping it and falling over. Suffice to say, I managed to do it successfully. Just uh, over by around Henley and Arden that was. Around the rural lanes, but rural back lanes of Henley and Arden. Don't ask me how I found myself down that track. I don't know. So, yeah, the tension today was to try and stay on some of the uh, less rural roads and somehow or other I've managed to I'm like a magnet to them just keep finding them without even trying now there's a coloured elephant in the uh, field just back there then 520 miles we're on now Nice bridge, very ornate. Yeah, I've got to spend a bit more time riding the uh, speed twin. I've, uh, I think it's, I've had it since the 1st of September last year. Uh, so it's five months. No, that's not right, is it? September, October, November, December. Yeah, five months. Um, let's say 520 miles. So uh, once you get a run in, this is going to be my uh, go to touring bike for the bigger tours. As you know, I'm going to do. Uh, Norfolk on the Hunter. Oh, the channel. The channel's doing uh, absolutely brilliantly at the moment. We're, 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 we're teetering on having, reaching 900 subscribers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Big, uh, big uh, cause of the increase in that was uh, I think was the um, fitting of the taco onto the hunter that's had a uh, a lot of views and a, a kind of a quite a lot of subscribers off the back of that thank you all of you for, for for watching commenting and subscribing on that video a lot of people like that and found it useful which is great which is what I wanted it to do and it's brought a lot of uh, people to the channel and uh, you've all really welcome it's great to have you along uh, so we're uh, we're just loitering around the uh just under 900 and uh i can't believe it can't believe it uh, it's just the fact that you like to watch this stuff is uh is brilliant and uh, I should do my very best, or well, we shall do our very best, to try and make it uh, something worth watching. That's one of our exploits. And my exploits on my own. Pity I didn't uh, have the camera on when I got to uh, found myself on that uh, road to the farmer's field. We need to get Joe up to his uh, 
first service I think it's a uh, Triumph Trident that's going to be a priority so that it's got its service before we go away in July uh, so uh, that's one to, uh, one to watch while we try and get Joe up and running I think Paul's got to get his, I don't think he's any particular rush to get his V-Strong running and uh, I've got to get my Hunter on here to say uh, we'll have a little bit more fun with it not to say it's not a load of fun at the moment but it'd just be nice to oh shit that's what I'm just be nice to uh, have that little bit more to play with and I think it's worth taking the effort to run it in so I'm going to take it easy with it 5.24 This is a great fun bike, I really like it It's a case of us uh, getting to know each other really or me getting to know the, uh, the speed twin I've no idea what the time is No idea at all I'm guessing it's around midday. I don't really care. Just go with the flow. <laughs> Here we go again. See what I mean about me, uh, the ability to just continually find back lanes. Look at that trick, that's interesting. Nice hedge. Lovely house. I do like that. Wow. You'd never see anything like that if you didn't come mooching, would you? Not the ideal bike for these sorts of roads, to be honest. I think it uh, copes with them without any issues, really. I try and. The tyres are not. <laughs> <laughs> not suited to this at all, but uh, oh shit! I'm uh, I'm taking it nice and gently. From the road, just becomes mud. That's the problem. There's a line to go, up, but not today. Thirty-three miles. Lovely. We're on the uh, on the road home now, really. I quite like the range indication. Crikey, couldn't get my brain to work there. The range indication on this. So I've got forty-four miles of range. A, a nice feature. Just like a drink though this bad boy, I must admit. I'm probably I'm gonna get around about 100, 120 on a tank of fuel. Yeah, around about 120. So I was fun to ride. I've been on it now for Bit of a while to be fair, at least uh, at least two hours. That really stopped. I did stop for a week. Um, about two hours, and uh, not suffering any discomfort. Can't see a problem doing any uh, big distances on it. To be fair, not even sure that this uh, video is going to make the lights of day. To be fair. just do with it is uh well, let's see I might even just put it and set it up as private or unlisted 5.38 right that I'll do as we come into Broughton you watched the video thank you 
I hope you enjoyed it. Next video will be uh, the taking the Donald for a service, which I hope you'll join us for as well. Um, yeah, so nothing much really in this video, but uh, nice to be out and about on uh, on the Speed Twin. So uh, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, I look forward to seeing you and chatting to you again on another video. Take care of yourselves and uh, survive it.